In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite uh, little man beaters in Madden 23. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. I just want to welcome you to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at the play wide receiver post out of the West Coast playbook. Now, this is the only one of the only plays, it might be the only play out of bunch that I can think of, where the tight end is going to be blocking stock in the play. And it makes it a, a really big value add because you can pick up a lot of different pressures with the running back and the tight end now. This also allows you to be able to attack defenses um, in a lot of really powerful and effective ways. We're going to be fo specifically focusing in on this video about attacking man coverage. We will get to some zone stuff here, uh, but I do want to explain why I think this is one of the best man beating plays in the game. So again, the play is wide receiver post from the West Coast Playbook. If you want to get my full West Coast offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description down below. The West Coast Playbook or the West Coast offensive ebook, I think, is one of the better bunches in the game. We actually have three bunch ebooks already in our Patreon and more on the way. Um, so, anyways, with that being said, let's talk about wide receiver posts and why this play is so so very powerful in this year's game. So wide receiver post comes equipped, obviously, with tight end blocking, but also has a really unique post route to the left side, as well as a crosser that um, is kind of a rounded crosser, and these crossers do really well against man-to-man. -man. So the setup for this play is we are going to go ahead and take our slot receiver, and we're going to put him on a slant route, and we're going to motion him across the field. Now from here, we can snap the ball and just call it good. And you'll see we'll be able to pick up every blitz of the game except for the four man rush that is out of cover one robber. Um, classic practice mode sheds. Uh, but we'll be able to pick up a lot of pressure with this. And uh, like I said, it's real simple. And because these routes crisscross, they're going to consistently cook man to man. Somebody's going to be open. Somebody's always going to be open on this play. This is a great play. I call this a constraint theory play because what this does is it really forces your opponent out of any kind of like, um, you know, over committed defense. If it's all man coverage or, you know, heavy cover zero blitz man, stuff like that. So anyways, we're going to slant Scotty Miller. Now, a second little optional uh, hot route is to take your tight end and put him on an out route. Now, if I was you and I was running bunch, I would want to have my tight end, my slot receiver, and my outside bunch receiver all with the short end elite ability. Uh, it's going to consistently, it's just going to help them beat man more consistently. You'll see here um, that out route. I don't have a great tight end on the Bucks, but uh, Otten's not too bad. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, he's going to even beat man to man. So you get that route against man, um, this slant. This slant is actually going to be more open than you might think. It kind of does look a little covered. Uh, with these freeform pass leads, uh, from what I've kind of learned in the last couple of days, one of the things that I think is important is to hold freeform the whole time and then to really try to get it outside. Um, you don't want to hold back when you're throwing this uh, with freeform. You, you got to kind of learn at some point to trust some of these pass leads. Uh, which is kind of hard just because of how freeform has been this year. But, you know, if I pass lead hard right, you see that that little angle right there is really open. Now, the like I said in the in the beginning, though, the, the real money route is this crosser. Um, and so if they go with this slant route, it's going to leave this crosser, and he's fairly consistent against man-to-man. -man. And this post route will also do a good job of pulling any zones uh, that they might have so basically they have to have an underneath route for the slant an underneath zone for the uh, The quick out to the tight end and they have to have something for this crosser to Chris Godwin in that case What that's gonna do is it's gonna leave this post route one-on-one -on -one over the top because they can't have any safety help And so if you have a good one-on-one -on -one receiver I would really recommend especially if you want to run your bunch to the wide side of the field if you put short out elite on that player, um, it's going to make it a little bit better. You can, if you want to, 
Um, you can certainly go ahead and smart route this route as well. So you'll see here just kind of how I lay this play out. I can just smart route that route. It'll make it run just a little bit shorter, a little bit quicker. Uh, but I just really like this post route. I think this is one of the better ones. Um, you know, the bunch trail post to me is not as good as it's been in years past. Uh, deep attack and wide receiver post, those two post routes to me are much, much more effective and efficient. So that's pretty much this play uh, as it pertains to man. You can, um, if you noticed right at what I did right there, let's say, for example, that they, um, you know, a lot of people, I'm telling you, they will play defense and they might do something like this because they're worried about the, you know, if they put a deep half here, that's probably because, you know, maybe they're worried about a corner route or something like that, right? Uh, a man beating corner. So when they do stuff like that, you can actually motion snap this little slant and it can help it can help it get separation. Okay. So that is wide receiver post against man to man. And then I'm gonna show you uh, just to I'm gonna show you one, I'm gonna show you two zones in particular. So one of the reasons I call this a constraint play is because um, I think some people could be tempted. Uh, it's really good against double Mabel. So if they're double flatting you where they're taking two P, uh, you know, underneath players, they're putting them in these flat zones. This is really good for that because the post over the middle, if they're in cover two of any kind, this skinny post is going to split the safeties and you're just going to free form it in the middle of the safeties, as you can see. So we have a nice little cover two beater built into this play. And then the other thing that we have um, is, like I said, if they were to run... You know, let's say that they're to run, you know, double flats. Now there's only one person in the middle of the field. And so this out route to the tight end is going to do a really good job of pulling these zones out. Now they have to make a decision. Am I going to go to the crosser? And if I do, that's going to leave the slant wide open. And now I've got the ability to be double maple. So this really does a good job of kind of filling out the bunch, in my opinion, because what it does is it a lot of the, the coverages that you're going to be struggling against, this play actually does really, really well uh, within the bunch formation. It kind of funnels them back into some of the standard defenses that the bunch has always been so good at attacking, uh, at least in recent years, just beating the meta. Bunch is meta because it counters... Um, a lot of metas that you're going to see defensively. So very, very good little play here out of wide receiver pose. I think that the West Coast Bunch is one of the top offenses in the game. And if you want to learn my entire West Coast Bunch offensive ebook, please make sure to join our Patreon. The link is down in the description. And again, you can sign up today for just 10 bucks, and it's going to get you access to all of our ebooks, all of our updates to those ebooks, as well as any new ebooks that are released while your membership is active. So really encourage you to go down to the description and sign up for the Patreon if you want to get better. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at the Patreon page.